Hi, teacher friends, this is Carolina Carter. Have you ever wondered how you could run an expedition without the internet? Well, let me show you how. All you need is a router, and the teacher device can talk to the student devices. And this is without technical glitches. It's always so glitchy when you connect your school's Wi-Fi. When you're running it off a router, man, I'm telling you, it is so much better. So come along with me and find out how you can do this to make your expeditions run seamlessly. This little box right here is kind of magical. Um, this is a router and all you do is plug it in and then it will connect your teacher device um, for expeditions with the student devices and there is no need to use the internet because it all works off of this router. It's pretty amazing. When your router is set up, you can look at the settings on the teacher device. So I'm going to go to settings. And the way that I know that it's connected to the router is it says this TrendNet 818. Um, that is my router that I have for my teacher device. Okay, so here is the student device. And then I'm gonna go to the settings as well. And you want to make sure that it is also connected to the router. So the router, guys, I don't know if you understand this, but you don't need to be connected to your school's internet to make an expedition work. So that is why this is so beautiful and so magical. So if the your internet at school is glitchy and it's not working, this will work and you will be able to lead your expedition without any problems from not being able to connect to your district's Wi-Fi. So routers are amazing, love it. So when you go into an expedition and you have the adventure that you want to go on. Here's my anatomy lesson. I'm going to go ahead and go to guide so you can see the startup. Okay, I am going to be the guide. Here we go. Here is my um, Google Expedition anatomy and nervous system lesson. I'm going to go over here so I can show you the screen for the student device. Here we go. Okay, you need to make sure that it is actually on explore because this one, this was the teacher device, was on guide, right? So here is my student's device. It says explore. I'm going to hit join. And guys, you realize that all of this is running off the router. Okay, so I have to hit play. Come on. <laughs> And then you can see that it's working. And guys, the magic is that I don't have to connect to my district's Wi-Fi. That could be sometimes glitchy. And this is all running off the router that I showed you at the beginning. So this is amazing. And it's just such a, an easy way to run an expedition. All right, so here you can see that my hotspot is on and now I've taken my teacher device right here and it's connected to my hotspot. So like I said, this is the only time you'll actually have to connect to the internet during an expedition. And it's just so that you can download whatever tours you wanna to download to the teacher's guide. And you remember then it just runs off of the router without the internet. So on here, I'm just gonna type in a topic that I'm currently studying with my students. Their cells, so these are all different expeditions that I can go ahead and download. You can see that I've actually gone through and I've downloaded this one. Um, let me see one that I don't have downloaded, just so that you can see it. So it says download to view. So then this is connected to my hotspot and you have to give it a couple minutes to download. But once I have this connected, now I can actually guide this and then my students can follow using the router. So on here, I don't know if you can see this. Oh yeah, right here. These are all um, Google Expeditions that I've downloaded to the teacher's device. Here's the teacher's device. And now since I have my router on here, I can just connect the teacher device to the student devices and run everything without the internet. And this is part of the magic of Google Expeditions. Yes, it's so awesome. No internet after you download. I just use my router. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 